Howdy everyone, this is the one and only Killer Rodan and today I'm going to be reviewing an anime film called The Girl Who Leaped Through Time. This is another anime film I'll be reviewing today and of course like always folks let's get into the story of this film. 17 year old Makoto lives with her family in, in the southern area of Tokyo, Japan. Makoto lives with her parents and younger sibling, Mayuki. Her aunt is an, is an art store restorer at the Tokyo National Museum. One day, when Makoto discovers a message written by written on a blackboard at her high school, as you might have guessed, folks, I'm reviewing an anime that's about uh, this character that goes to high school again. But anyway, I do um, I do like the fact that the main character is a female main character. Which, uh, which is something we don't see a whole lot in anime. Anyway, folks, like I was saying, one day when Makoto discovers um, a message that was written on a blackboard at her high school, she falls upon this mysterious walnut shaped object. Then on her way home, Makoto is ejected into a train road crossing when the brakes on her bicycle fell and is struck by the train. Yeah, this this part of the movie did shock me, but anyway, she is transported a few minutes back in time to before the accident had occurred but um but anyway I don't want to give away too much of the story folks but I can say this whole time travel thing does have something to do with that walnut shaped object that she found but anyway I, I, I have to say that I did enjoy this film I can honestly say I really did enjoy it it has a really good story, and I liked about that. It has a really good storyline towards it, and I know I know when it comes to time traveling stories, they're hard to do. Time traveling stories are hard to do, and well, you know, it has to make, and of course, it has to make sense. That have a good, it has to make sense, and I know this type of thing is tricky, but. I can honestly say that they did it well. The whole idea of time traveling was well executed in this movie. And I actually wouldn't mind watching this again. I wouldn't mind buying this on DVD really. But yeah, it's, it's an anime that's worth watching. And yeah, we really did enjoy it. The animation in this is really good. The animation is really, really good in this. It's smooth and it's not choppy. The editing is really well as well. The editing, the editing here is actually really good. I did like the art style. The art style was detailed, and yeah, it looks like the character designs were had a lot of effort placed into them. I do wish that I did have it on DVD, but I need to. I guess I need to chase it down on DVD or Blu-ray. Either way is fine. But I did watch this on the computer, and I've heard um, people talk about this anime, and and I and I do honestly regret that I haven't seen it sooner. But but anyway, I, I'm glad that I've seen this. I've watched this movie with that amazing Maddie. I have to um, thank that amazing Maddie for watching with this with me. It, it is one. Of, it's it's one. It is definitely one of the best anime films out there today. And 
Yeah, I don't regret watching it. I just need to chase it out on the DVD. The voice acting in this, the voice acting in here is actually quite good. The voice acting is really, really good in there. I, I've watched this in, in the American voiceovers, so I can only judge it as that. The American voiceovers actually did quite a, quite a good job in this, and and then, and I think it is some and I think people should check this out if you haven't if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, I know. I complained about anime nowadays using the whole high school thing as a setting. It, it's been overused. And I still say it's overused, but in here, I guess I'll get, I'll let it go in with this anime film, because it's not, it's not tightly focused on high school, really, but it's, it's, not, it's, it's also, yeah, it's about time travel, but at the same time, it's about relationships, and, yeah, it's also about relationships in this anime. This is definitely a well-made anime, in my honest opinion. I did like a lot of the colors that was used in this anime. Sometimes it can be dark and gloomy, but then there will be other times where the, where the colors can be vibrant and colorful. Huh? And I like the main character. The main character, Makoto, she's mm -hmm. cheerful. She's tender. Uh, she's she's a type of... She's a very caring person. And to me, that's pretty damn cool. Yeah, she's a very likable character. She's down to earth. So what you doing? And you're right. Yeah, I like characters like that in anime. We like that. And it does and it does sometimes right. this anime film does yeah, sometimes have this slice of life type of feel it's to it, which is good. And I mean it took place in high school, so of course it's gonna have that kind of feel towards it. Which is fine, but anyway. So what was your yeah, I like the whole I like the overall I like the overall atmosphere of this film. Hey, and right yeah, this film, the ideas, the ideas, the themes, yeah, you know, the story, everything in this anime was well executed. It was very well executed, in my yeah, honest opinion. Like, you know what? The oh. characters in yeah. here are very likable. It doesn't come off. The story does not come off very contrived or anything. It doesn't come off. Oh, that was convenient. I I really like how everything was set up in this anime. I like the music. The music in here was actually really well done, and yeah, I guess this anime film does get lighthearted at times, but I just, and then there were moments where it gets really dramatic, and yeah, yeah it, has, it has a nice balance of being lighthearted and being you know really intense. But yeah, it has a nice balance of that, and the music does help the movie. It, the music was well composed, in my honest opinion, it was it was really well composed. More often, I would much rather watch an anime film than an anime show because there are a lot of anime shows out there I don't, I don't like, and there are a lot of anime shows out there that don't catch much interest. So I must rather watch an anime movie. And the, the story for this film was actually pretty interesting, in my honest opinion. The characters' relationships are really good, and. The interactions of the characters were actually really well done. This movie definitely gets a recommendation from me because it's honestly worth watching. It's worth your time, folks. I did enjoy it. This movie, The Girl That Leaped Through Time, came off to me like it had a magical, a magical adventurous feel towards it. Because like I mentioned before, the atmosphere for this movie was really good. It kind of reminded me of movies like Spirit Away and Kiki's Delivery Service. And which, which are other anime films I did enjoy. And yeah, the film did came out, did came out very adventurous, which is good. This movie was very entertaining, very enjoyable to watch. I never got bored. I never felt that it was too long or anything. The pacing for this movie was pretty good. The pacing, it had a nice flow to it. And the, the script was, and the dialogue for the characters that they used was, it was decently written. It had de it had decent writing. I mean, it may not be no, the writing for this film may not be no Shakespeare, but still, I have to admit that the writing in here was actually rather decent. And 
Now, to me, that's a good thing because yeah. it made me feel that the writers of the show did not get, I mean, of the movie, I mean, sorry about that. The writers of the movie did not get lazy at all. Yeah, you know, the screenplay had some effort, had a lot of effort into it. The, the, the overall story had a, had a very, had, had a very well sc structured story. It had a nice beginning, a nice <laughs> beginning, and had a nice conclusion at the end of the film, with, with the third act. And, what? yeah, I guess I'll just buy it on the Blu-ray or regular DVD, whichever I find it first. Because like I mentioned before, it's definitely worth your time, it's worth purchasing. Uh, yeah, I'll watch this again one of these days. Again, I have to say that I made a, okay. I wish I have seen it sooner. I know I've heard people talking about it before. Yeah, know. some people had, when, when some people made the top 10 best anime movies, this, mo right. this movie had appeared on their list. And, yeah, I do regret not watching it sooner. Because this was a really enjoyable film. It, it was really, really enjoyable. And, and yeah, this, this was a damn good movie. A really damn good movie. And the characters were likable. It had a good story. It had good music and such, like I mentioned before. And I wouldn't mind watching it again. I have to give this film a total score of a 7.9 out of 10. It receives a 7.9 from me. This uh, the girl that leaped through time is definitely a damn good movie, folks. I kind of honestly mean that. But like always, folks. Like always, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, and take care, folks. See ya.